All right, guys, welcome back to the channel again. Um, I'm back on the um, back on the big rock mark again today. I'm um, hoping to try and catch a better stamp of cod after the weather we've had. Um, it was blown well past couple of days. It's been blown up to 50, 50 plus mile an hour southwesterly. Um, it's dropped away nicely now. It's it's perfect for fishing for cod. You know, um, it's like, like the type of conditions that you'd expect a big fish to be lurking. You know, when the sea's just, just starting to die down. Um, we're meant to fish a mark that we normally fish, but um, it did come down, come down and uh, the bank slid a little bit. Not the actual path. Next to it, like come down a little bit. It's a proper clean, like slopey, that slopey bit that's come off. Um, so, my mate Tony looked at us and said, what do you want to do? And I said, to be honest, mate, I'm going to think about my, my little ass and that, so I'm not, I'm not going to attempt it like, you know, I'll just leave it. Better being safe than sorry, you know. Um, so, yeah. Um, in the summer, when the vegetation kicks in, like the grass and your weeds and this, that and other, it will heal up, because it's not a bad slip, it's just like a lolling. It will heal up in the summer, obviously, when everything grows back, you know. So, I'll leave that mark till the summer, we won't risk it, eh? Um, so we'll just um, we'll just stick it out in there. I've never I've never fished this rock mark before. This part of the you know this part here. So uh, we'll just give it a go. I mean, never fished it before, but could pull that big fish out. It, it could be fair, Who knows? So we'll just give it a go and wait and see. The tide the tide's perfect. I mean, you can see it behind me. It's absolutely um, it's absolutely immaculate. The tide. So we'll just wait for that rod to pull over. I think I've got about 30 frozen, uh, 30 frozen lug. I think I've got about 30 fresh lug. Uh, maybe 30 frozen lug with a pack of mackerel. On a, a pack of blueies, but only small blueies, you know. A bit of a problem getting big blueies at the minute. Um, my local tackle shops, I don't know if it's the same. The country or not. All over the country, I should say. But yeah. Um, the fish we've got, we've got a little bit of fresh bait, so if, if the fish are being picky, they'll take it, you know, the fresh bait. So we'll just, uh, just plod away and see how we get on. But, um, but um, I'll have to go and get my rod because the tide, uh, the tide's just starting to come in uh, around it now. So, um, so I'll catch you in a bit if there's um, any fish, and I'll maybe give you a bit of a, a little bit of a like hints and tips on like how the bait up, etc. You know, not rocket science like you've probably already seen it before, but uh, nice to have a bit of a recap. Especially for new beginners, you know. So um, I'll catch you in a bit. Right, guys. Um, I've just managed to cuddle in there, maybe about a pound and a half or something like that. Um, it's absolutely stuffed to the brim. It's just, it's just about a crab old bill that's still alive. Um, there we go. I'll say a pound and a half, two pounds or something like that. But well, as you can see, it's absolutely <laughs> rammed. Absolutely rammed, like with. Uh, whatever it's been eaten so at least we've had a fish anyways which is uh, good stuff we haven't blanked that, um, that's cod number 40 for this winter so hopefully we can um, we can get a few more of them um, it's just on fresh lug this fish as well so yeah fantastic stuff so um we'll get cracking excuse me i'm full of wind <laughs> and uh, we'll see if we can get any more so catch us in a bit Alright guys, just a little bit of an update, um, it's been quite quiet fishing like, um, there hasn't been much act action at all, um, I had a slack line and then it, it, the rod didn't even move, but my line just like fluttered back and I thought oh, could be a good fish, like just picking it up and just moving forward with it, and there was nothing, I just picked the rod up and I fell for it and there was nothing, nothing biting or anything, so I just pulled in and some, some of the time I got the bait like, but it didn't, um, it didn't like come in, come to anything, you know. Um, just gonna put some worm on now. Give you a quick demonstration of it. It's quite easy to thread worms on, like you know, just, just keep threading it down like that. But that was a bite then. <laughs> Oops, and here's the tide coming up. <laughs> Number one.
some uh, some big swells still you know obviously because it's been um, it's been very rough the past couple of days so it's just like dropped off now so there we go another worm there and just on the uh, on the panel bit just one two three and then into the bottom worm and there you go nice uh, nice worm there, there for a uh, a cod hopefully but like I say it's been um, it's been very quiet I mean I've never fished this bit of the it's probably one of the rare marks I haven't fished before and um, so I'm just keep well we've had no choice because it I said that the bank come in a little bit down there but it will recover in like I said it will recover in the summer so we'll just leave it though for the rest of winter there's not much well where we in now 14th of January so got maybe February and then the cod season be kind of done then you know so we'll just wait and see um, so yeah um, but I'll give you um, I'll give you a report if there's anything else coming out so catch us in a bit well guys it's just coming up to high water now um, it's the first time fishing the heads I've had a bloody uh, whiting um, I know it's only a jam before well earlier on in the session but um, I thought that was maybe just a fluke, but a little way waiting. Look, I'm really tempted to put the bugger out as live bait over high water, but I think I think I'll just let it go. I think I'll just let it go. Like, um, but yeah, there you go. Little way where, uh, little waiting. As I said, it's first time I've had waiting off, off the head, so. But I've noticed when I'm fishing here, I'll try and release this fish once. There's a big hole there, the fish has just gone down it nicely. Um, One sec guys, I think I might have a bite. False alarm, it must have just been um because it's obviously slack water now. Um my line just drops slack, you know, with no tide running or anything. But I've noticed fishing here, um it's not really rough. The ground's not rough I should say. It's like fairly clean. Like not, I haven't when I've pulled the lead out, it's um it's just coming out no problem whatsoever. There's no um no snags about like but it's not a bad thing like because Obviously, with the storms and that, you will get fish on the sand, obviously, because you get them on the beaches. So, um, it's not a bad thing, like, but you do tend to pick the fish up in the rocks over here, you know. But, never mind. Uh, this will be your best time catching the fish, like, over, come up the top of the tide now, eh? So, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Maybe just have to set up that one two pounder, unfortunately, but never mind. Um, it's forecast to be um, northerlies all week, I think, so that might kill the fish on my side. But you will, um, obviously, you'll get your smash fish up at north east side, but I don't have um, I don't have the time uh, next week to, to fish them, Mark, so that's a no go for me. So I'll. Um, I'll just hang fired and just wait and see. I mean, could even be worth making a, uh, a video on the rays, maybe possibly phone back rays, having a, a blast for them. Well, I'll wait and see how I feel. Um, so yeah, so I'll, um, I'll catch you in a bit when um, I either pack it up or we've managed to fluke a fish. Right guys, I just had a, um, a better bite there. I'm just trying to keep my stand up <laughs> And I've... Um, just made to like a well, a better size codling, maybe about two and a half pounds or something like that. Um, 
just on straight lug again. Can't put together, <laughs> just on straight lug again. Um, there we go. It's not a bad size cuddling. Um, like I say, I thought they'd been um, more around this sort of size, but the isn't. Um, but yeah, so that'll um, that'll go with me. One about a pound and a half as well, so that's not too bad. Um, yeah, so it's um, a bit of a better fish. So I'm happy with that. Just wish there was more fish about. Like, um, like I said, I'll set it to on even before. Like the beaches are probably better. Well, they are better because they produce some more fish, obviously. But you always a chance of a rogue fish down the these rock marks there, but. Good. Nine times out of ten, you probably won't get yam, but that, that, there's that chance that you can, eh? So yeah. But anyways, there's the van. It'll be about two and a half pounds or something. So fantastic. Um. So I, I have fingers. We're going to fish to six o'clock, and I think it's twenty past five now. So uh, we'll carry on till then and see how we get on. So I'll catch us in a bit. Right, guys. That's it for tonight's session. Um. I say I managed two cuddling and a white in. Um. It wasn't fantastic fishing like, I thought it was a fish to be better, but I'm not saying that. I am, I am not on the mark where I would like to be. Um, but at least I've had two fish out of the mark, the mark I mean, I've never fished before, so at least I've still winked with a couple out. I was just playing around with areas, casting, trying to find a bit of rough ground. And the bit where um, I got two fish was the rough, roughest part of the area where I'm fishing. So, so just shows you a bit of playing about trying to find where the holes could be or where a bit of rougher ground could be. There was like managed to pick two fish up and save the um, save the blank, so to speak. Okay. But um, these are the uh, the codlings I've had tonight. Yeah. Yeah, now beats a blank. Um, as I say. Perfect for eat, for for me and I mean I've got in a, in a in a way now I just love eating fish for some reason and whether I'm it's because I'm getting older I don't know <laughs> it's weird but I love my fish to eat now like a couple of years ago I'm back going back I don't like it I hated eating fish but I've just got like a proper weird thing for it now and to be fair at least it's healthy eating so yeah so there you go guys there's some perfect box you can get a better gauge. There's me uh, the coddling for the bad tonight. So, uh, um, so yeah, pleased with that. So um, I'll, uh, I'm not too sure when I'll be next fishing because obviously the winds are going to be crap. So I'll, um, I'll, I'll wait and see what happens there. Uh, um, hopefully next weekend or something like that. So you know the drill, guys. If you could please um, like and subscribe, it would be a massive help. And please like away as well. So, um, so please, if you could do that, that would be fantastic. So I'm going to um, pack up now and uh, head up the cliff with, with uh, Tony and Richie. I don't know how they've gone because they were around the corner. I know Tom, Tony's had a little cuddling and a waiting, but I don't know what else I've had, so we'll find out later. So, um, so yeah, so I'll catch you later, guys. Tight lines, and hopefully see you soon.